Hi everyone, Rob Kajiwara here. Hi Sai Uchinanchu and Uchinanchu supporters. You probably saw uh, my posts on Twitter and Facebook that um, I received an automated response via email from the White House saying that they received my letter and that they're uh, you know carefully reviewing it. Um, it was a letter that I sent them. Um, I sent that letter to them January 2nd, I believe, and uh, it was confirmed by the post office that they received it, um, I believe it was January 6th they received it, it might have been 4th, I have that information somewhere, but they received it a few days later after I sent it, and then um, just on January 20th, Hawaii time, or January 21st, uh, Washington DC time, they f sent me, um, they finally sent me uh, um, an email saying that they actually received it. I, so I guess that means they opened it. <laughs> yeah, um, they, they finally opened the package um, on January 21st, Washington DC time. So, um, yeah, it was a letter. I sent them a whole package, actually. It was a letter, but also it had some other information, several p pages of further information about uh, the situation at Hinoko and why it should be stopped. So the White House finally opened it. That's what that's what that means. <laughs> they finally opened the, the package I sent them. <laughs> kind of took a while, but hey, you know, it's better than nothing. So, um, what should we expect from the White House when they finally do reply, when they finally respond? What should, what should um, we expect? To be honest, I don't know. Um, it's really hard to say. Uh, if you saw on uh, Facebook and Twitter, I... I posted about uh, the response we got from Senator Angus King and also from Representative um, Ed Case. They both had negative responses for us. And if you saw my video about Ed Case's response, um, Ed Case was really, really, his response was really uh, just bad because <laughs> he was so misinformed about so many things. He still thinks Governor Onaga is still alive. Governor Onaga died in August, but Ed Case thinks he's still alive. That's how misinformed Representative Ed Case is. Yikes. That's the guy who's who's making serious decisions about Okinawa and about Hawaii, about the world. Okay, and he's just totally out of the loop. <sighs> okay, so yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty discouraged about uh, the negative responses we got from Senator King and from Representative Case. But keep in mind that Senator King is an independent and Representative Case is a Democrat. President Trump is a Republican. Okay, And in the past, it's largely been the Democrats who want the base at Hinoko and largely the Republicans who are against the base. So there's still hope there. So we're at 209,000 signatures. That's not bad. You know, we should all be very, um, we should be proud of ourselves. We should feel good about what we accomplished. That's a pretty good accomplishment. Consider we started with nothing. Okay. We have, we're a, we're a grassroots movement. We started from scratch. And we got over 200,000 signatures. That's pretty good. Um, you know, we have no resources. We have no, we had, we had no organization. We, we still, we still don't really have that great organization, but uh, we have a little bit of organization now that could be improved. But, uh, you know, we, we, we had nothing and we achieved over 200,000 signatures. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, so, Congratulations to everyone. Thank you all for your hard work. With that being said, though, I don't know if that's enough signatures to stop the base. I don't know. I hope it is. 
but I just don't know. If we had like five hundred thousand, then you know maybe that'd be different. But at two hundred thousand, we're not even the largest petition at the White House. We're still at number five. We're the fifth largest petition, and we haven't been able to crack into the top four yet. So I don't know if that's enough signatures to actually stop the base. I don't know if that's enough to actually influence America's foreign policy decisions. You got to keep in mind that America is a large country. Okinawa, the population is about 1.4, 1.5 million. Japan, the population is about 126 million. Hawaii, the population is 1.1 million. Okay. The United States, though, the population is like 400 million, 400 million. Okay, so 200,000 signatures. It's a lot, but compared to the population of the U.S., uh, I don't know if it's that much. I don't know if it'll be enough to actually influence foreign policy. Anyway, here's the thing. Regardless of what the White House says in their response, whether it's positive or negative, um, we're going to keep moving forward. We're going to do, keep doing our best to protect Henoko and to stand with Okinawa. Because even if the base stops at Henoko, we know the Japanese government is going to continue to try for it. Prime Minister Abe, he's going to keep trying. We know that. Prime Minister Abe has no problem circumventing the law with ignoring the law with changing the law however it suits him he's going to keep trying even if uh the white house intervenes and says and we're going to stop the base he's going to try to find something so we got to keep trying ourselves to keep protecting hinoko and standing with okinawa even if and when the base gets stopped at hinoko there are lots of other issues occurring in Okinawa, such as Takae. There's and it's happening all over the Ryukyu Islands. Lots of environmental destruction, lots of human rights violations against the Okinawan people. Hinoko is not the only uh, problem. Okay, it's just one of many. It it might be the most talked about right now. Um. And it's the one we're currently focusing on, but there are many other issues as well occurring all over the Ryukyu Islands. So even if and when we are successful at stopping Hinoko, the base at Hinoko, we still have a lot more work to do. And if we get a negative response from the White House, well, we're not going to give up. We're not going to give up, okay? Um, the petition was from the start. It was always designed to, yeah, we're hoping for a good response from the White House, but we're, we were always planning on using the petition to help uh, help stop Hinoko and to help promote Okinawan rights. We're going to use that petition. We already are, but we're going to continue to use that petition to advance Okinawan rights and help protect the Okinawan environment. And... Uh, we're going to use that um, petition to continue to show people all over the world, the international community, um, the human rights violations occurring in Okinawa, the environmental destruction occurring in Okinawa. We're going to use this petition. So whether we get a positive or negative response from the White House, we're going to keep uh, using the petition to try to help Okinawa and as you probably heard on social media I am coming to Okinawa soon um, next month um, we're not sure exactly the dates yet but I'm gonna be going to Tokyo um, first only for two days I'm gonna be giving a couple of talks in Tokyo um, and then I'm going to head over to Okinawa to help support the referendum. So right now, the dates we're looking at, um, I'll probably arrive in Tokyo around February 19th or so, stay for a couple days, 
and then head over to Okinawa to help support the referendum. And um, we're, we're, we're going to be talking more in Okinawa um, about Hinoko, about um, the U.S. military bases, about uh, the environment, and just about Okinawan issues in general, including human rights violations against Okinawans. Um, so that's coming up. I'm probably going to stay in Okinawa for around three weeks or so. Um, and remember, I do, I do, uh, I do live part of the year in Okinawa. Actually, um, last year I was there for around six or seven months. Um, so it was a good chunk of time, and I do have my own apartment in Okinawa. Yes. Um, so it'll be good to go back to Okinawa. I've been missing it. I was I was just there in November. It wasn't that long ago, but um, I still miss it. There are a lot of good things about Okinawa. I miss the people. I miss the environment, the culture. Yeah, we have some um, Okinawan culture here in Hawaii, but it's not it's not as authentic. It's just not as authentic as the the culture in Okinawa, of course. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. This was just a little update. Um, if you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you would like to see more videos like this, and feel free to leave us a comment down below. Doing these things just helps us uh, promote our message across the internet. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Mataya.